don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on YouTube? It is the Big K Cobb 360 here, and as you guys know, if we're really talking about AMD and Nvidia, we're talking about uh, GPU performance within DirectX 11 games. You'll see that for the most part, Nvidia seems to uh, outperform their AMD counterparts at pretty much each price point. Now, of course, it really depends on the game, but for the most part, that's what you're seeing currently. Because obviously, AMD haven't really released a new card or a new series of cards since uh, the Fury X, the Fury X and the Fury. And before that, you had the 390X, I mean, well, not the 390X, the 290X and the 290. And from that, we've had the 285 as well. So we haven't really had many like new cards, like a completely fresh lineup, like what Nvidia has had with the 900 series. But anyway, it's it's starting to get quite interesting because as um as you know DirectX 12 is about to come out and we're getting AMD coming out with some better drivers, the performance game is starting to change. Now, as you guys know, if we're talking about AMD and Nvidia. AMD seems to have the better hardware, the better raw compute GPU performance. However, Nvidia definitely seems to just spit on AMD when it comes to drivers. So that's why you see um, Nvidia cards with, you know, you don't think they're as powerful, but since Nvidia has optimized DirectX 11 so hard, so fucking well, uh, they just beat AMD cards even though their GPUs might not actually be more powerful. Now, of course, uh, DirectX 11 did have a lot of overhead, so obviously with DirectX 12 coming out, with Vulcan coming out, and as we saw with Mantle on the AMD side, um, th that gap started to close in because obviously there's not that much overhead, and optimizing so hard won't reap the benefits that it would have on DX11. And we're starting to see a bit of a change because Star Wars Battlefront, some beta benchmarks did come out, and they are very very interesting because as you guys can see i'll bring them up on screen we've got the 980 ti right unsurprisingly it's up the top 114 frames per second this is of course at 1080p but as you can see the fury x the fury the nano the 390x the 290x are all ahead and then we see the 980 and then we see the 290 then the 780 ti then the 970 you see the 980 and the 970 towards the bottom that is not what you expect to see, especially at 1080p, because the AMD cards have been known to just be shit, especially at 1080p. But, um, I don't know, we're starting to see a change. I believe AMD is really starting to pick up their drivers, their beta drivers, man, because, honestly, this is quite surprising. Now, of course, Star Wars Battlefront is running on Frostbite 3, and as you guys know, Frostbite 3, with Battlefield 4 especially, AMD and EA were working very closely together on that game so of course naturally frostbite frostbite 3 games sorry just work better on amd cards not because you know it's anything special it's just the way it is however um this is just like the start of things you go towards 1440p the same story i mean look guys think about it the 290x was in place to compete with the gtx 780 repeat the 780 it's been more than two years since the 290x was unveiled was released and as you can see today in star wars battlefront now of course these are beta benchmarks but let's be honest nvidia did have the benchmark i mean their drivers ready it's beating a 980 a 980 a card that was released was it this year or last year? i believe it was this year but anyway yeah so for that guys but anyway um we're gonna have to see uh, we've seen some arc survival i mean that direct x12 game uh, we've seen some benchmarks of that, and it pretty much tells the same story as this. And the AMD cards are starting to perform much better than they usually do. You've got the bloody, the 390, the, the 290, the 290X, they're all coming up in performance, and you're starting to beat, like, the 980 and the 970. I don't know what it is, but it seems like Maxwell 1, or like, the first few Maxwell cards, like the 980, the 970, they all seem to suck absolute dick when it comes to DX12... Uh, performance. I don't know why, but of course the 980 Ti, the newest card, seems to scale quite well. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if GM204 is just poorly planned uh, with DX12. Uh, and then you've got the whole issue with async compute coming out with Nvidia apparently having poor support for that. Uh, so yeah, I don't really know. We're just going to have to wait and see when DX12 comes out. But yeah, pretty much that's pretty much it, guys. I was just telling you that, look. 
Damn the cards, man. They're, they're coming up. The 290. The fucking R9 290, which you can get in America for like 240 bucks or some shit like that. It's almost in line for 980. It's beating a 780 Ti. It's beating a 970. I mean, look at the R9 380 in the $200 price point. It's beating at 1080p the 960 by 15 FPS. And this is a DX11 game. Now, of course, as I said before, yeah, you've got the whole Frostbite 3 thing with AMD, but this is, like, significant. This is a big thing. This has been why it's just a piece of what's to come, I guess. So, hopefully NVIDIA can push out some more, like, cards. Hopefully the next generation of GPUs is a bit better when it comes to DX12, because clearly, GM2, I believe it's GM200 that's on the 980Ti. GM200 scales very well with DX12, it's fine. But when we get to GM204 with the 980, the 970 and all that shit, it seems to suck bad. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and look, the big K will see you later. Uh, uh. Actually, no, I'm going to make that another fucking video. The stupid GDX Titan X. What the hell was the point of that card, man? It doesn't even have DP. Thank you.